The ladder stitch is very easy and very versatile. You can use it for all of your dolls and for many other sewing projects too. The ladder stitch is used to close openings in doll parts after stuffing. The ladder stitch is used to attach doll parts to each other or to the body. The ladder stitch is used to close darts inside elbows and knees to pose bent arms and legs. The ladder stitch looks like a machine stitch seam, but it is done from the outside rather than the inside. The ladder stitch conceals the stitching by imitating a seam. It's called the ladder stitch because it looks like a ladder until you pull the stitches together. The thread goes back and forth like rungs on a ladder. To close an opening, mark the stitching line with a disappearing marker so you'll know where to stitch. The fabric stretches or distorts with each stitch so the stitching lines move as you pull each stitch. Without the original marks, it's not possible to balance the seam so that it becomes unnoticeable. To attach body parts, pin the edges together first. Put pins in similar to the way you use hair pins in your hair. Insert each pin from the same side. First, start the pin underneath the stitching line at one side of the opening. Second, Locate the place to insert the pin on the other side of the opening. As the point comes out, put the point into the body where the other side of the stitching should go. Third, pull the opening closed by rotating the pin around its point. Fourth, push the pin all the way in, slanted back in the direction you started. You may bend a few pins this way, but they won't fall out and you can always straighten them later. Then, mark both sides of the seam with the disappearing marker. This will show you exactly where to put your stitches. The fabric will distort as you remove the pins to sew. If you are closing an opening, mark the stitching line before you start pinning. Then put in a pin at each end of the opening. Then pin the center. Now insert pins between the pins, adding stuffing as necessary. Stop with the pins are an eighth inch or three millimeters apart. When pinning on a body part that may need stuffing at the join, add more stuffing and readjust pins as you go. If you find soft spots, remove pins, insert stuffing, and put the pins back. Use drapery thread, available in the home decor department. It is a strong nylon thread. You may want to wrap an adhesive bandage around your finger so that you don't cut yourself when you pull on the thread to close the stitches. The thick cloth ones that don't ravel at the edges are the best. Use a long darner or a short, sharp needle, whichever works best for you. The shorter needle works better in tight places. The longer needle is easier to work with. Snip a point on the thread by cutting it on the diagonal instead of straight across. Lick the needle and the thread. It works better. Put the end through the needle and hold it, then pull the thread off the spool. Thread has a grain. The end that comes off the spool goes into the needle, not the other end when you pull the thread to length. If you pull the thread against the grain, it will shred more easily. Loop several wraps of thread to make a big knot. Then snip off, leaving a very short tail. Start inside the opening to hide the knot. Take a lock stitch, needle once or twice through the thread loop and pull. Take small stitches back and forth on opposite sides. 
stitch two or three stitches at a time. Then wrap the thread around your finger, squeeze the opening together, and pull thread to close up. For a large opening, for example, the crotch of a doll, start by joining the center front and center back seams. Then ladder stitch each side, adding stuffing as necessary. Remove pins as you go. Use the marked lines to keep stitches in correct place. Make stitches even. For hidden seams that will be almost invisible, make the stitches very close together. Add stuffing as necessary as you close up the last few stitches to close the seam. When you reach the end, make a lock stitch by putting the needle through the loop twice before pulling the thread tight. Then bury the end inside by stitching it through the doll and clipping the thread where it comes back out. Happy dolling.